Hi everyone. When I received my peerless differential, it came in two parts. Um, so unlike Steve Vinson, who uh, apparently gets it all in one part and asks you to put tape across the, this joint here so that when you're removing the bolt and putting on the adapter for the brake rotor, um, you don't have to worry about coming apart and having a, a, an untold mess. And so I don't know how it is that when he buys it, he has it all put together, but mine came apart like this. No instructions. Um, when I went and looked at YouTube videos, I really didn't find anything about putting this together, which tells me it's got to be super simple. Don't need a video. Um, and the only thing I saw was where a guy took it completely apart and put it back together again. And quality of the video wasn't all that great. So kind of left me wondering, what am I getting myself into? Anyway, uh, the nuts were actually on when I first bought it. I just took those off. I bought the extra large bolts and um, from Renegade Cycle, I, I bought the uh, aluminum adapter so we can put that on as well. So I thought I'd just do a real quick video and ex and share with you uh, what I find. Am I uh, looking at impending disaster or will this just be super simple and smooth? I guess stay tuned and we'll find out. So I finally have it all loosened up. Just took a little cheater leverage arm here. These are <clears throat> these are threaded in there, so you can't just knock them out. So we'll fast forward this and get to the exciting part. The moment of truth is at hand, and hopefully this is going to just be easy peasy. And we're not going to have 10,000 things just spring out. Pulling this out very carefully. But look at that. Gears just stay in. Simply drop in the other axle. And... Probably best to stand this up. Oh yeah. Whoa! Okay. Disaster. So I stood it up. Whole thing fell apart. But it's really not a big deal. So I think I can just put this back in here. Catching that, yeah, need a rag. Okay, I'm trying to get the bolt in, I stood it up and the bottom housing fell off. So, let's do that again. So we'll, okay, there's a little seat in here. There's a little seat right here where this rod fits, and then it allows these gears to, eh, it's a mess here. I'm really getting messy, but this is not some big boogie man. There we go. So I got that in again, clean my hands a little bit. So you can see that's all it is. You have the two shafts and then just pinion here in the middle. Really simple, no springs, no big, big, big bad boogeyman. All right, let's see if we can get this together now. So, try to use the... Okay, we're gonna try a different route here. So we're taking our four famous two two by fours and we're gonna make gravity our friend. So I've got it clamped on the bench and now I can take the end where the rotor, the brake rotor is gonna go and I'm just gonna slip that in there like that and now I can work in a, in a in a vertical mode and it should be a lot a lot easier to to work on this um, 
rather than having it sit on the wider part of the circumference right here, I didn't want to do that because I want, when I get the bolts go through, they're longer than the, than the, the assembly itself. So we, <clears throat> we want to allow room for that. So that's why I'm using the narrower shaft part right here to, to hold that up. Okay, so now we, we have our two seats for this cross bar right here. And we simply drop that in there and look at that, voila. No magic there, pretty simple, straightforward. Now we take our, our other piece which is where the drive gear goes. And I'm gonna take and put, and take and put the drive gear on. Again, using, using gravity now as my friend. Let's just see if we can get this together. <laughs> falls apart, falls together. All right, I think I'm gonna... See if I can just get this together. I don't want any interferences. At least now the two parts are fitting together. Just using some painter's tape going across the joint just to hold it together. Let's see if this is even going to hold it. Let's go ahead and take this apart again. I think this concept works pretty good and if you're a little bit more coordinated than I am you'll be able to uh, probably get the gear on at the same time. All right. One, two, yeah they're just lining right up, falling right into place. like magic. I was thinking I to add a little torque later, but I really thought that was just gonna be really hard to do and uh, bad news, but just use a little common sense and Great. It's like so many things with cycle karting. It's a, a learning experience and you try one way and if you're patient and don't force it and uh, see the error in your ways and then move on to the next idea, eventually you'll, uh, you'll find the right recipe and when you share it on YouTube, others can benefit and you won't have to spend as much time. Of course, you waste all that time watching YouTube, so is it really uh, a time saver? No, but Hey, it's sure fun. All right, so time to put on the adapter made by Renegade uh, Cycle Carts. They do really good quality work, and uh, I appreciate the attention and the special care that they, they give to you. And uh, we as a community, Cycle Cart community, should be very grateful that, that they exist. So I'm appreciative of them. So we'll put this piece in here. So this uh, extends it. And one thing you'll notice you can't see right here is that it does not fit down perfectly flush with the uh, 
the two pieces. There's a gap in there. And so the question is, is that supposed to be that way? And I don't know the answer to that. I could try pounding it down, but I really don't want to booger up these bolts. It's possible if I loosened it, but I don't, I don't think that's the case either. So this transaxle, uh, it moves really nicely. It's not bound up in any way. And I think I'm gonna just open these up just a little bit on my drill press. So I'll be back to, cause I don't see that this will come together in any, any way. That's a lot closer. It looks like that did it. Even though I said I wasn't going to do it, I did it. <coughs> a hammer is a man's best friend. It's a tight fit, but that seemed to work just fine. So now I'm going to use the original washers that came with my Peerless and put them down there and then use the nuts that originally held the together. So these are the, the longer bolts. I need to, my fingers are so big that, there we go. This uh, arrangement, the two by fours actually works out really nice. It's a nice rotisserie. And again, gravity is doing all the hard work here. So that is super tight in there around the nuts. Um, I know Steve Vinson mentioned that, uh, asking Mark Parnell if he would open that up just a little bit because you got to use a, a thin driver to get around the nuts with the little space that's in here. But let's see if we can find something like that. All right, so fortunately I did have a, a thin wall, half inch uh, socket wrench here. So let's go ahead and start tightening these up by hand. It's a little questionable if these bolts are going to be long enough. I bought the extra long ones that were recommended. Okay, and next comes our rotor plate. I don't have uh, bolts for that, so none were supplied. So I'm gonna have to go get that. Here we are. Nice. Wasn't uh, the bad boogeyman that I was uh, afraid of. It's nice when things work out the way they're supposed to, and of course it should, right? It's a all engineered design so if it's not working right you're doing something wrong anyway that's uh hopefully this video will have helped uh, some of you um and uh, to not worry about the same things that i did and have a good day